In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a full factory restore reset of any gateway. Um, I'm going to first show you how to re, uh, reset, factory reset it uh, from the startup screen. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to do it from a hard reset with it powered down. Let's say you have your computer on, your gateway on. We'll go ahead and show you what to do. So what you want to do is you want to go to the bottom left where you see this little Microsoft icon here on the bottom left of your screen. You want to ho hover over that and then you want to click on the power button and that will give you an option to restart. Now, what you're going to want to do is you want to hold down the shift button and then you're going to hit restart. You keep your finger down on the shift, bu the shift button. You don't let it go. And then from there, you're going to get to where it's going to restart and then it's going to say choose an option and then from choose an option what you want to do is you want to click on troubleshoot right here okay and then after you click on troubleshoot it gives you this option to reset this pc you want to go ahead and reset this pc and now it's going to give you two options you can keep your files or you can remove everything so if you keep your files it'll take a little bit longer and then once everything is restarted and reset to factory, there'll be like a little folder that has all your files on it. Or you could choose remove everything. Remove everything basically brings it back to factory reset like you've got it right out of the box. Now, if you want to do it fresh and the computer is completely turned off, what you want to do is have it completely shut down and you want to have it plugged up, of course. And what you want to do is you want to hold down the alt key ALT and the F10 key so you want to start it up and I'd recommend just hold down the alt and then just tap F10 multiple times if that doesn't catch and what you can do is you can alternate hold down F10 and hit the alt key or hit them both at the same time you might have to do this three or four times but that should get it and what it's going to do it's going to take you all the way back to this choose an option screen so again what you want to do is hold down the at the alt key which is like over here and then you want to hold down the F10 key at startup and then it'll do a full factory restore to do it directly from the login screen right here and some people will do this if they forgot their password and so right below my picture here is a little power button now what I want you to do while you're in the login screen make sure you're plugged in you're going to hold down the shift key, the shift key on the keyboard. And that looks like this right here, right here is the shift key right here to my left, the shift. And as you're holding that down, you want to hover over here, click on the power button here and hit reset. And you might have to hit, are you sure you want to reset? Click yes. You do this while still holding on to the shift key. You do not let go of the shift key. And then that's going to take you to this screen right here. So when you get to this screen, this is pretty self-explanatory. These screens change a little bit, but I want to give you the gist of what you need to do. You want to look for troubleshoot, reset your PC. And when it says reset your PC, always click where it says reset your PC. And then here you want to click on that. You don't do advanced options. And then again, this will ask you, do you want to keep your files, remove everything, choose, remove everything. Now you might get a version like this where it says, just remove files, fully clean drive. That's fine too. And then you'll get to this screen. You click reset. Now you might get another screen that's white. It looks like a BIOS, like white. Again, just look for reset. It's pretty self-explanatory. It'll walk you through. You, come here. You, yes, you. I need your help. Come here. You see this right here? This wall's empty. I need a YouTube play button. In order for me to get a YouTube play button, I need 100,000 subscribers. I got what, 20, 30,000 right now? I need 100, I need you, please, you to subscribe. You think, my subscription doesn't help. Yes, it does. I need 100,000, I need, I visualize, I visualize what I want in this world. And what I want is a YouTube play button. I want a YouTube play button and I need you to subscribe. You can help me. You can make your dreams come true. Just visualize it. Whatever you want in this world, you can have. You can have all your dreams come true. I want you to help me make my dreams come true. All right? So please, please subscribe.